What's up everybody? Chuck the Biz back with you in today. I guess I get to be the first one. Got my new shirt on. Because my new job. You see it? What it is? What it is? Um, got pepper in the mail yesterday. And uh, a lot of people are waiting for this video. Because I'm going to be the first one to do it. And I don't know why. Right there. RefiningFireChilies.com Superhotchilies.com You know who that card is? That's Jim Duffy. Jim Duffy sent me this pepper in the mail right there. Hit it with the smartphone. Bam! Ain't no problems now. I got my new phone. Got my new camera going. So, yeah. Got all kinds of cool effects with the camera and stuff. I can do crazy stuff with it, but... Nonetheless, I don't need to get any crazier than what I'm about to do because this, just to forewarn you, this video may be long because I'm going to ride it out because of what I'm getting ready to do. Jim Duffy sent me this pepper right here. And for you that don't know what's going on, this is a Trinidad Maruga Scorpion crossed with a butch. He, scorpion. Um, the two hottest peppers out there, and they made it into one. Look at this absolute beautiful specimen of a pepper. Let me get the ring of fire out of the way, just just because the, this pepper is just phenomenal looking. It's such a it's, it's it's a beauty. Let me get some up closes of it before I cut it. There it is. You can see it's got a beautiful red color. It's got a nice, beautiful tail on it. And I'm going to... I'm kind of worried about what this pepper is going to do to me. Because that Carolina Reaper, buddy, I tell you what tore the biz up. I had capsaicin cramps for hours. Yeah. It was a rough go. But, anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm going to eat this pepper and then I'm going to tell you about it. So, that way it does it. It's going to kind of cut it down. Like I said, I received it from Jim Duffy and Refighting Fire Chilies. You can find them at superhotchilies.com. This is a Maruga Scorpion crossed with the Butch Tea. Cut the stem off of it. Whew. Wow. Oh my God. Oh my Lord. You guys have no idea what the pain that I'm about to endure myself. I have oil all over my fingers, so I'm going to go down to just the one glove, and there it is. There's the inside of this beastly monster. You can see the oil all in it. You can see the placenta is just large and in charge. You can just see the oil glistening. I mean, this is just ridiculous. So yeah, there it is, man. It's uh, it's gonna be on like Donkey Kong. I don't have my other timer. Um, I'm just gonna chew this. I'm not gonna just chew it. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make sure you guys get the full 30 seconds. I'm gonna make sure you get the full 30 seconds. 
so you know, I'm you know if I don't want to feel like I'm cheating my fans and or anything, because who knows if I'm even gonna be able to chew it for thirty seconds. So, anyways, I'm gonna eat this pepper. Jesus Christ. Chuck the Biz, the Maruga Scorpion, Butch T. Cross from Jim Duffy, Refining Fire Chilies. Okay, two, one, go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, at first you got the sweetness of the pepper, and that didn't last, last for very long. Now it's burning hot, okay? Now about this pepper, the Butch Tea Scorpion pepper is a chili pepper that was formerly the most piquant pepper, it has been since replaced by the Trinidad Maruga Scorpion. So the pepper that I just ate, was the world's hottest and the recent world's hottest crossed. It's from Trinidad and Tobago. The pepper is a capsicum Chinese cultivar derived from the Trinidad Scorpion, which is indigenous to the Trinidad and Tobago. It's named after Butch Taylor, the owner of Z Z Zedco Farms, and Woodville Crosby, Mississippi, and Hot Sauce Company, who is responsible for propagating the pepper seeds. The scorpion peppers are referred to as sets because of the pointed end of the pepper that is said to resemble a scorpion stinger. And it's real hot on my tongue. I don't know if this is going to be a creeper, but as of right now, it's tolerable. Daniel Wallace, I want to give a shout out to him because he's the one that told Jim Duffy to send me this pepper. As they started ripening on the vine, they wanted to see exactly how hot they were. I'm starting to get warm up in my chest area. My mouth is, is real hot. It's kind of burning the back of the throat. My nose is running just a little bit. Uh, as the world record, the varieties of scorpion peppers was a for a short amount of time ranked as the most pungent, hot pepper in the world, according to Guinness. In 2011, a laboratory test conducted in March 2011 measured a specimen of scorpions that. 1,463,700 Scoville heat units. Officially ranking it the hottest pepper in the world at that time. The pungency of a species of chili pepper can vary by up to a factor of 10 depending on the conditions under the specimen grew. The secret to the heat, according to the creators, is fertilizing the soil with liquid runoff from a worm farm. According to the New Mexico State Chili Institute, the only, it's the only international nonprofit scientific organization devoted to education and research related to capsicum or chili peppers. The distinction of the world's most piquant pepper currently belongs to the Trinidad Maruga Scorpion. That right there is what I got tatted on my arm. And it's hot. It's hot, boys. It's not attacking my mouth like the Reaper did. But it's hot all in the same. It's got a, it, it, it's got a nice steady burn that seems to 
have been it seems to have been the same throughout the whole ride so far. Again, I want to thank Jim Duffy, Refining Fire Chilies, for giving me this opportunity. You can smell the heat. My tongue is on fire. I can feel it in my stomach. I can feel it in my stomach already. See, and that it says just shows you goes to show you how different these peppers are. I didn't feel that reaper for hours. It was probably a good four hours before that reaper kicked in, man, and started giving me the cramps. I can already feel this one in my stomach. My mouth is blazing hot. And everything that I read you is, uh, you can find it on Wikipedia. You can find it on the Trinidad Scorpion Butch Tea Pepper, Maruga Scorpion. It's all one and the same, just a different strain. Different process is done to it. And that pepper was both the Maruga Scorpion regular strain and the Butch Tea strain crossed. I don't know what the mother plant and, and, and was uh, out of the out of the out of the uh, out of the deal, but either way, man, it's blazing hot. Uh, excuse me. My mouth is salivating like crazy. I don't know if eating that reaper kicked my tolerance up just a little bit, but you know I'm really not a firm believer in the tolerance thing. It's either you can do it or you can't. I know, I know, eating it may get you ready to handle the heat better, so you don't do the panic. So you know what you're expecting when 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 that shit comes, because man, if you ain't expecting it, <laughs> you're in a world of trouble, brother. Right there, six minutes forty-two seconds in, so I'm, I'm well past the the usual challenge. I can feel the heat in my chest right here. Like I said, almost, uh, and I'll reiterate the fact: it's kind of like that J Scorpion, and it feels like I took a shot of hard liquor as it's burning down my chest. My mouth is still watering like crazy. The heat neither has peaked nor subsided. It's still the same. Kind of, as soon as you bite into it and get past that sweet part, it pans out and it just stays one consistent heat. And that's fucking hot. So, again, this is another decent super hot. The flavor is not that bad. It does have that super hot taste to it though. And unlike the Reaper, this one you can taste the, uh, I guess I'm going to say it's the Butch Tea because I haven't had an actual, just a regular Butch Tea. I have had a regular Maru Scorpion, but not the Butch Tea. And everybody complains about the flavor of the Butch Tea, which that's probably what I'm getting. It's not very pleasant. But you're still getting the, <clears throat> you're still getting the sweetness of the regular Maru Scorpion. Again, right there, Jim Duffy, Refining Fire Chilies, superhotchilies.com. It's where you'll find these. Um, I don't know the availability of these because of the heat level on them. These are one of these are another one of those peppers that you don't toy with. You don't you don't give you don't give these peppers to somebody to make them laugh to laugh at them, man. Because these these peppers will seriously hurt a novice. All right, the ride I'm going to assume is coming to an end here. The burning sensation in my mouth is starting to recede. <clears throat> Still got the flavor of the pepper there. As you can see my eyes, nothing going on. 
But there it is. As I'm going to cut this video off at 10 minutes because mm -hmm. nothing's happening. It's not peaked anymore. It's over. The, the heat in my mouth has subsided. And it's another just another great peppy, pepper from Refining Fire Chilies. Another nice cross. And uh, it's hot. It's hot, Jim. And uh, Daniel Wallace, again, thank you. So there you have it, folks. The 10 minute ride with the biz with the Maruga Scorpion Butch Tea Scorpion Cross from Refining Fire Chilies, SuperHotChilies.com, and Jim Duffy. This is the biz. Thanks for tuning in, and I will see you next time.